This video is about using the in operator in a WHERE clause of a SELECT statement in SQL or Structured Query Language. So we're going to use the Northwind database for these examples. And uh, here, just as a refresher, here is a simple SELECT statement with a WHERE clause. So the WHERE clause is a lot contains a logical expression and that logical expression is evaluated for each record so in this case we have the products table for each record in the products table the unit price value in that record is compared to the value 10 and if it evaluates as greater than 10 return true and keep the record or uh, evaluate false otherwise evaluate false and don't keep the record so it won't show in the uh, in the results set. And if we look at the results, we can see that there's nothing less than 10. So the in statement uh, uses the WHERE clause, or typically in the WHERE clause, and uh, it evaluates by common sense, just like it sounds. Uh, this query gives us all the products from the two categories 2 and 4. So more thoroughly, if category ID is in this list so we compare what's on the left with the list on the right and if the category ID for a record is one of the items here then keep the record otherwise uh, discard the record and so you can see the results here of all categories two and four so you can equivalently phrase this as an or statement and uh, so in this case it's the category ID is either two or the category is four so why would you use the in clause or the in operator rather than this list? So first thing is just uh, clarity uh, and, and logical clarity. So here's an example of having uh, a longer list of, of IDs that are possible matches. So uh, of course we could more succinctly phrase that like this. and hopefully that is with the idea that less code has um, less potential for bugs uh, this is a much clearer way of phrasing it and possibly has uh, less potential for creating a bug now with a simple in statement uh, maybe that's not going to create a bug but here's what I see some novice SQL uh, coders do is that they have this list so their intention is to say give me products that are in this list of categories and are also greater than 10 but of course this isn't logically correct and at first glance it's not apparent that it's not logically correct so if I were to encounter this code in the wild I might not immediately understand their intention so in order to get it so that it's logically correct I would have to use parentheses but of course much clearer would be to use the in clause for the sequence or the list of categories and then just and it uh, combine it logically with and and the uh, unit price greater than 10 so very clear what my intentions are or what the code the coders intentions are from this code uh, another example, when I have a, a long list of ORs and I want to get the opposite of that. So give me all the products that are not in this list. Well, if I do it with a sequence of ORs, um, this is what a novice might do. And unfortunately, what happens is this is performed left to right. So the NOT really only applies to category ID equal to 2 and then all of these are ORs. So, um, so again, not logically correct, and to get it logically correct, I would have to use parentheses to control the order of the operations. And even this is not immediately clear what my intentions are. Um, and more verbosely, if I combine this logically, uh, the equivalent is to say not and use ANDs for this list. So uh, much more clear is to use the not in statement. And it's very clear, give me everything that is does not have a category ID in this list. And then equivalently, uh, so the not can be either just before the in 
or it can be in front of uh, the, the whole expression. So again, technically in is a comparison operator, and the way to think of it is what's on the left gets compared uh, to what's on the right and returns a true or false. You can use the in statement with other data types. So here we are using this with character data types, where product name is a variable character. And here I have character literals in my list delimited by single quotes. Um, with strings or character literals, sometimes it's tempting to want to think that maybe uh, this list can contain wildcard characters and work like the like statement, but it doesn't. So in this case, uh, this percent is just interpreted as a character being the percent character. It's not a wild card for matching. So it runs, it won't throw an error, but notice that it won't, will not return the chai product because it's actually looking for something that has a C-H-A-I and then a percent character. So it does not do the wildcard matching similar to how like works. So here's one using dates. So here's from the employees table, everybody whose birth date. So there we go. There's the birth dates of 1948, December 8th, and 1952, February 19th. So another very cool, so, uh, very cool feature is that this list, um, can be replaced with a column, uh, single column multi-row table, and you can define that table with the select statement. So here we have a subquery, and I'll execute just the subquery, oops, sorry, just the subquery, and you'll see that I have a, I create a one column multi-row list of product names, and that's the subquery result, and then if I execute the entire query, these are all the products that have a product name in the list defined by the subquery. Now you might look at that and say, hey, that's, uh, why don't you just phrase it like this? And I would agree. So this is a very simple example, um, single table, but this idea is very powerful and allows you some uh, great expression flexibility for phrasing your SQL. So in some cases, phrasing your SQL like this is much clearer and uh, can possibly even have some performance implications than phrasing it like this. So in summary, in is a logical operator. It returns true or false. It's sometimes used to replace a, a series of logical expressions. It operates on a reference value on the left and a list of values on the right returns true if the reference value is in the list, and the list of values can be generated by uh, the result of a select statement.